after the Falcons lost, the Hunters still remain in first place. They are on 24 points while the Falcons on 23 and Dolphins 22 follow closely behind. The Hunters' defeat saw the team take the field without captain and 5'8 Ase Boas, who has played an integral role in their previous wins. But coach Michael Marum says though they were without Ase, the team was capable of beating Tweedheads. If uh, Ase was there, in there we'd be at the nine, wasn't uh, following what we planned to do. Also, uh, uh, it's part of Watson, but no. Not an excuse missing the keeper. Uh, we are 13 boys, all capable of playing against uh, sides like this. Round 15 saw a poor display of football from the top two teams. Both teams will be working hard this week on errors encountered during their matches. We can play better okay, if we control the football better. Okay, so our sets, okay, uh, and that's where your ups come in, your, your play niggas. But you know, playing, you know, they can be strong, but they have to be smart about everything we do out there. So. After the Hunters' match on Saturday, Tweedhead's coach Aaron Zimel said with how hard the Hunters work, he would like to see them win this year's ISC Premiership. But, yeah, that, that's what it's about. You know, credit to the Hunters. Uh, to this stage of the comp, 15 rounds, they've been able to beat almost every side in the competition to the top of the ladder. And you know, I've got a soft spot there. <clears throat> I'd like to see the Hunters win the competition. I think it would be sensational for PNG. Um, so I wish Michael and the boys all the best for the rest of the year. Elijah Lavette, National MTV Sports.